Hello friends, my name is Ashok. I'm a UI UX designer from India. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how we can convert a design into a working website using Figma and Webflow. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel so you can get notified whenever I upload a new video in future. Welcome back guys. So here you can see the landing page that I have designed using Figma. Figma is a free design tool. You can design maximum three uh, designs using Figma in a free plan. Uh, if you want to upgrade, you can do that. So here you can see the landing page. This website and the landing page are designed for a company called AdBeacon. Uh, they provide Bluetooth marketing or you can say proximity marketing so according to that I I chose this picture which they have where a girl is holding a phone so in future if they want to show a video there so it can show like a broadcasting messages are broadcasting from from the phone or any particular video they want to show so I'm using green color because catches user's eyes the contrast is quite good and below that section I'm showing uh, some of their clients who are using ad beacons right so by doing this so we can create a credibility right if user comes and they see okay they have these clients so they can build trust by showing these clients logos and and the next section is how ad beacon works so here we are sh um, i'm showing how it works like create broadcast and it's a simple process three step process so and the client's testimonials here and the next section is a call to action section it's right above the footer section in this call to action section, I'm showing an image in the background and put some overlay here, right? See, see this green color catches your eyes. Start using free. <clears throat> okay, so it's a very simple landing page. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you and I will cover uh, a tablet version and mobile version and also a desktop version. So. Uh, here I'm on Webflow. I've already gone ahead and, and exported images from here that I wanted to use in this landing page. So all those icons, background image, logos, and that background, and this Adbican logo, and then quotation mark, right? Comma mark, you can say inverted comma mark. Okay, so let's get started. So first thing first, you have to do is you have to just click here on this add button and select a section from there and drop it here go to this navigator give it a name this section uh, I'll name it hero right so it's a hero section before I after doing that I will change its tag to header for SEO purpose okay now we are I uh, hero so i want to put a specific size there like this so let me check okay it's 768 pixels height right so i will what i will do is i will give uh, 70 percent or 70 percent 70 viewpoint height right there but not 70 i would 80 it would be fine because i want to show logos here so they can in in first fold fold means uh, whenever user lands on your website they see the first whatever they see on the screen first time it's called a first above the fold so here i want to show those logos right or oh, let's make it 90 right so here 
what I will do is I will add that image choose image here give it image background image make it cover in the center no tile right so the image is there see so the next step is I want to put that overlay but I don't have this overlay here so will not do that sorry my mistake so now I'm going to put this section so how you can make that select this uh, hero section make it flex go to here in display layout in display make it flex after making flex align it to center justify content also center right now go ahead and drag a div block and drop it under this hero section so it will be in the center so now let's make this uh, give 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 a name of this uh, div hero content okay it's hero content now make it grow if possible right so it will be full width before i do that so i want to add a another div block there right see if you can see we have a container here it contains everything under that content container so give it a name uh, i would say site container right <coughs> and the width of the container is 90 percent height I'm not giving any height but the max width is 1200 pixels right so now do one thing make this container auto from there auto also from here so what it will do is it will make this container to center right now it's not showing you because uh, it's taking this division with him so make this div under that container side container so see it's in the center now right so the so what we need is a heading a paragraph and a button so go in this element section put a heading there heading a paragraph and a button right it's there so so there's one thing that i want to share with you is if you go here so we haven't uh, set our fonts here so what i will do is i will click here on the body section this is bottom navigator and select the pop-ins from here but i see there's no pop-ins here right the font that i've used so what I will do is I will click here on add fonts. So it will show you this another screen and go there select a font Google font pop in. It should be here somewhere around. It's here. So what sizes I want regular I want uh, medium am i bold bold right so i will take all these sizes click to add okay it's been added here right so now just refresh your page click here on the body go to font typography select pop-ins right now all your phones will be pop-in see if you go there if you go here so now let's take this content what okay so let's give it a max width so it looks like this so the max width i'm here is a uh, 555 okay we got it so what you have to do is in this size section give it a max width 
555 pixels right it looks like this but if if it doesn't the time of development then you have to change it a little bit by yourself right so what i'm doing is okay so it's my make it a 555 pixels here change the font size font size is 48 pixel and bold 48 bold right see looks similar to this right so put line height also here so I'm putting 58 the next thing I want to make this a theme color a green color so what I will do is I will change the name to hero heading hero heading in the hero heading I want to give it a name okay it makes everything looks like that so right now is this right so let's go to this section give it a 32 from top and 32 from bottom so give some padding to it 32 pixel from top and 32 from the bottom <coughs> so by default headings leave spaces see here we don't want that so it looks quite good now right and also make this give a max width to that section 555 max width 555 pixels right looks something like this So let's okay give it some twenty-four make it red color and give some opacity to it seventy one. 71 so it looks like this and the font size is 16 regular font size is 16 and regular right so put some spacing here okay, 545 okay like this give it some more here go there 16 26 make it 26 so it looks quite so we are getting what we were making here what we have designed here so now let's design this button or code this button <coughs> so go here click on this button button give it a name change its background color to this right and its font weight is bold 14 pixel 14 pixel bold and oh white color it's already white right and put some see 30 and 17 17 paddings side by side it's 30 and from top and bottom it's 17 
It is a made mistake here. This make it thirty. <laughs> Devons. Yeah. So this looks quite similar to this. Start using. So the one thing you should always <coughs> make is make the fonts capitalize. So whenever a client want to change the name of the button, so they can type here. So it will be all <coughs> automatically will automatically will be a capitalize. So let's put some space between the tags. Right. So letter spacing. Here, right? It looks quite good to me. See, right? So the next thing is I want to give some shadow. So come here in the code section, the CSS. This is the shadow. Blur, three pixel, twelve pixel. So, <coughs> in the shadow, the blur is 12, blur is 12 and a 16 pixels, 16 percent is opacity of, on black color. So, in effect, section, box shadow, right, black, make it 16. The blur was 12, right? Blur was 12 on the Y size. The angle make the angle 180. I want I want the shadow to be go downside, or the light should be come from the top, and the shadow would look downside, right? Zero, three. Okay. So this is how it looks now. Okay. Like just like this. So now let's create this. So now let's create this uh, menu. To make that menu, you will need to draw a nav bar from here, or you can say Control K. We'll search nav bar it's here i don't want to put that inside that let's make it outside right so let's give it a name hero nav hero nav and change its uh, position to absolute and show it on the top right so what we need is we need a logo there so i will just simply drag and drop a logo here so guys don't forget to give a name all tags right alternative tags you can say so it will help you increase your seo make your seo better <coughs> Before I change anything there, I just want to remove that color, background color from there. So I will make it transparent. So because we have a transparent color here, right? So now the color of the link is this color and the say it's medium 15 pixels. Go here give it a name name link okay medium 15 pixel maybe something like this right see change it select this delete this copy and paste so we have four links there so just copy one two three four are there right so let's take the content from there clients 
services pricing and block so the one more thing we need to make is just put some padding for this on the top it's 30 so select the main hero now we can put some 30 from the top okay so right now the image looks like this so what i will do is i will change the size of let's make it 768 pixel see now it looks what we were looking right select the hero the image this vg show it from bottom not center top bottom right so it looks but i don't like that so i will make it center so this looks much nicer now <clears throat> so we need a button there in this section so we need a button so i so i want to delete this container because it's not the size what we have used here so i will delete this container. so before i delete that i will take out all these new menu new run and menu button outside that container i'll add a div in this hero nav give it a name the same name that we have given that we have used earlier the site container right so take all these under that okay it's quite right it's okay it's there see it's quite aligned to this right this <clears throat> so now what i will do is i will add a button there for these new links i will add a button okay it's there so you might be wondering why it's not showing there right yeah let's add this button to that go here select this display flags right make it center see it's there it's quite simple to add a button in now so it is there only so if we go and check it's there so the guys i would suggest you to learn more about flexbox in future tutorials i am going to cover how you can use flexbox using html also and and how you can use that flexbox in webflow so i'll name this button button same button this one but the content be different right see we have so you have 30 pixels of margins <clears throat> so select this its padding is 2020 right so so to make 30 i will make it 15 
here and 15 here from all side so it's not 15 there so to make it margin left I will make it to button give a 15 but it's button header so it will affect to that button only not to this ok so this button is simple as you can see it looks <coughs> quite similar to this yes ok so let's make that logo center line to this area so what I will do is I will take that logo and put some padding to it So it looks center to the content if not then change right here so it's the it looks quite center to this <coughs> so our hero is ready so the next thing is this we worked with section or clients logos so to make that section go in your web flow area go there just collapse all those open elements add a new section there give it a name client logos add a new there give it a class site container inside that site container give a heading ok so make this heading heading height so make this heading h3 and change its color to the color we already have here this color <coughs> And the font size is 18 pixel and it's semi bold. Uh, change the semi bold. Make the size to 18 pixels. Right. So we've worked with section should be there. so then put that logos there see it's here see it's side by side right now but what i will do is <coughs> i will add another div under that side container and give it a name client logo flex and move all your content inside that division and make the div a flex see it looks good to me now vertically center right make it vertically center so everything between the center 
so it's center but I don't want that for now so logos right so give some 46 so give 46 from the left side it's like that so you're getting this because they are everything is in the center but now what I will do is select these client logos and I will put some padding like 42 is from the top or 40 right so give padding from 40 from bottom it is also 40 but I want to add this line right. since this line so how I will use that I will add another div M client logo line client logo line and after doing that go here select that line it's a one pixel line and uh, the color is black and 7% opacity it's the height is one pixel width is 100% viewpoint width and the background is black with 7% opacity select this client logos right give some padding from the bottom 40 see this looks similar to this now okay I hope you are getting uh, the concept I am implementing here It's a very simple to implement uh, designs into Webflow, but it takes time, a little bit time. Right, so now the next section is this, how Ad Adbeacon works. So to make that section, it's add another section here. give it a name how it works <clears throat> inside that add a div with the name of site container <clears throat> right so I will put some padding of 100 pixel from the top pixel from the bottom it stays there so let's add a heading there mm, heading select a heading and a heading make it center give it a color this check its size 36 bold its font size is 36 and it's bold right how it can works it is there so put some padding a 60 from the bottom select this putting some padding there so now what we need is we need three 
boxes there so to make these boxes i will use uh, css grid here so what you can do is you can inside that how it works section drag and drop css grid right we don't need this another row we need three columns only so in the first column so in this column it's done in this column okay you can add it from here so what's the column gap is we have 30 it's 30 right i'm also putting 30 from padding from those section if you want to see that it's a column here so 30 from here 30 from there so inside that uh, first grid add a div there adding that div yes adding from top i'm putting nothing but from the either side left side I'm putting 30 30 padding right 30 inside that so what we have is uh, let's give it a name <coughs> item one this one so we need a icon heading and a text so go there in the upload section first icon is this icon heading and a paragraph a paragraph right so before i make anything so i will go i will select that item one class that div and i'll make it flex Align shape to order, make it flex. Okay, not horizontally, we want it vertically, make it center align. So I think is in the center. See? And also change it is to center. I think is in the center. So now so here take its size and the color, it's black. The font size is uh 24 and the font weight is semi bold so it's already not so already black but uh, let's make it black font size is 24 font weight is semi bold right and 70 mm, 16 pixel paragraph font size and it's regular normal regular what was it 16 16 make it like this this color give us 70 right okay put some padding there so with 16 i would suggest to put 26 or 24 it looks nice right so let's just copy and paste the content there It should look so let's remove these margins so if you what you have is I have here is 10 for the top 25 so let's change it 25 and 10 so it looks nice to me now okay let it be a 20 20 was fine so we have our first this is how it works item there so let's uh, so now you have to do is just copy this item select this grid
just copy that item Just have to copy and paste it one more time. Snorts inside that outside of that section. One more time. Take make it to this. This. Okay. See. This looks but just, you just have to change the content there nothing else just change this image broadcast don't need this delete that and the heading was broadcast Let's change the heading first. Analyze. Analyze. Right. We have given the name to headings and add one more image for the last item. It was analyze. So now, as you can see, we are getting what we have designed here so so the next thing is i want to add this start using free button there so we just have to copy and paste our button in the site container go there add a button button give it a name button right okay so let's so it is the Let's make it flags center the center full width, but I don't want that. So what I will do is I will just remove that item from there. So I will select this how it works section. I will change its font to center. So the button would be in the center. Whatever text we add there, it will be in the center by default because we are making the whole section center line there so now what we need is just to put some padding it's 50 from the top so take this did you notice one thing yeah it's putting padding there so let's select this give it a name button how it works so let's put some margin from the top it's 50 right. so as you can see so we have a code here so i'm not adding any hover effect right now but at the end i will add hover effect when you a hover on the button so how it we change its color and all so the next step is to add this section so very simple section it's a testimonial section so let's do one thing let's add another section here okay so the next section is 
give it a name testimonial so it's by default putting 100 pixel of padding from the bottom because we have set 100 100 uh, pixel padding top and bottom so this is how it works section so we don't need to give any padding here but we'll add only bottom padding there right testimonial your friend from the bottom it is 100 pixel right so what we need is we need a container we need a container so so i will simply go ahead and give it a name site container site container so it will like that and make this section center line center line so whatever you add become give it heading in this and paste it there so it's there you just copy and paste just do control c and control v in pc and in mac you can use command c and command v so now we need to add this inverted comma before i add that i would like to add a div there or we can simply just copy and paste that term but i would like to add this div here and give it a name monial content right oh, sorry it's not content it's content testimonial content and add that inverted comma it is there the next thing is that paragraph paragraph make the size of paragraph to something like 652 pixels it's not 652 pixels but it's yes testimonial paragraph paragraph max width is 652 pixels right so i want to make this uh, center line right so how you can do that so you just take this testimonial content make it flex right it should be vertical content should be center so it's center right now so q a padding 30 from the top padding 30 from the top from the bottom it's nothing so let's change the font size and all 18 pixels regular Two, three four regular the color is this uh, there is a opacity yes it's a 70 percent opacity so at the time of doing that give a 70 percent opacity give some padding here not padding but a line height copy the content paste it here now the next thing is we need this client section client name section or uh, element you can say just a tax name or tax block right so give it a color this theme color the 
font is regular uh, pop-ins regular font weight is regular font size is 14 pixels so looks good to me we have here and put 12 pixels from the top padding over here you can put 12 pixels so we have our client section also so right now we need to design this CTA here call to action the website is getting the shape so now add a section Data CTA, right? Give it a name CTA and add a background color, not color, but a image. Choose image, where well, should be this center cover, not tile. Okay, so now what you have to do is what we need is a heading, paragraph, and a button so add heading to it add paragraph to it add button to it this there so in this again i want to add that cta container to make everything align this take this give it a name site container site container so move everything under that container so now it's looks good to me make everything center center right so we'll also add a div there to make everything flex so give it a name CTA content so it's a flex see now it looks quite messy so Let's make it vertical, vertical and center. See, it's working quite well. So, to make this, I am putting 190 from the top, and from the bottom, it's 190 to make it round like. So, select this main city, give a padding from the top it's 200 pixels from the bottom so now the font size is 36 and bold and white go here posing bold 36 make it white right so just copy and paste the content so now make it also white and let me check its font size is 16 pixel 16 pixel regular it's regular copy and paste the content So now the size of it is five five five. Max width is five five pixels. Right. Put some line height to it. Okay. So let's give a, okay not to that twenty and. 
30 20 from the top and 30 from the bottom paddings right uh, it was 20 and it was 30 make it 0 and remove paddings from or margins from here make it 0 make it 0 ok so give this button a name the same button we have used earlier ok you just need to change the text there Okay, the city is also ready. So now, so the next thing we want is the footer. So let's select this our CTS section. Your margin from the bottom is 100 pixels. Right now, next we have to add is new section at that new section give it a name footer change its tag to footer right so then the footer what I will use, I will, I will again. I will use uh, CSS grid here, so I'll I'll use five columns there. So in the footer area, first of all, we need to add our side container. So don't forget to add this side container each and every time you create a new section, because that is how can align your whole website's content there so inside that so let's check in how it works section how it is I mean, so it was great right so inside that section add a CSS grid CSS grid we want columns we don't want two rows yes we we do want two rows only and columns with five one four and the cap was 30 so it will look like this 1 2 3 4 oh I think it's only four column is there so I remove one column from there okay so now what I want you to do is just add Add logos there, logo inside this a div inside that div add a company logo. It is there below that section. I want to add content this content. So that div, not in that div, let's change a paragraph, add it here, copy and paste the content. So the color is for 70% uh, opacity and the 14 pixels of 14 pixels of font size 14, 70. Let's make it 70, not 71 make it 70 right so okay so so another we want a new div inside this give a heading a company add a new heading there inside a div inside a div and the heading should be H4. It's quite so. Remove this. Remove this. The color is the same color we have used earlier. Okay. Okay. The K 
give it a name company the phone size is 18 it's medium okay select that make it medium it's 18 so it looks quite good to me for now let's add these links so how can you add those links there add another div add a tax link set that the name of the link is about it's uh, 14 pixels of font size it's regular and so uh, come here it's 14 be regular you make it this so i don't want any underline from there right so no underline looks good to me so how many links are there four so just copy and paste it four times copy one two three four right so so now it's quite staggered to side by side so what i will select this div come here mm, footer footer links right make it a flex should be vertical right and now select this give a padding 14 pixels from the bottom so everything is now looks nice to me blog pricing and support change the text to blog pricing pricing and support grid to this div block copy and paste it there copy paste take it here just there copy it div block copy paste did I just yes it is Oh. okay it was it's here sorry okay so it was my mistake sometimes it happens okay so now we have four headings follow and legal so change its name to follow legal so in the full of your all four links there sorry let's just copy this footer link section copy and paste is here footer links copy paste footer links to this this here okay it's quite facebook twitter instagram linkedin change the name to facebook twitter Instagram and and LinkedIn 
now what you need to do is change these links also privacy policy it's privacy policy terms and services it's contact delete this link here from there so I want to put some padding from the bottom to this so margin or you can say it's 30 pixels so it looks nice so guys our landing page is ready it's quite pixel perfect right So guys, we I forgot to add uh, this green color here. So what I will do is I will select particular section. I will click on this wrap with span section. I will give it a name. Text span in the heading. Right. Or oh, you can say it here. Color to green right looks like our final version and now i'll work on these buttons for a while because we have given some border radius to it go down the borders border radius to it is 2 pixel it's it will affect all the buttons that we have used so now what i want is when a st uh, change the state when uh, when you want to change the hover state you when you when user hovers on this button what color you want to show them then select this hover state on this hover when it's hover so the background color look a little bit darker right so now you see so it is a see like okay okay friends so this was uh, the landing page uh, for desktop version and i will also convert this into mobile version uh, in the next video i will show you how we can convert this design into it's uh, it looks uh, nice for now but we have to work on this section here see all these sections there are a few things we need to make change and for mobile also so see you on the next session friends hey friends i hope you enjoyed the video please share the video like the video and subscribe my channel don't forget to check out the next part where i'm going to convert this desktop version into a responsive website using Webflow and Figma.